Now, who said that AI tools can be good for us? Trust me, they can. With this one, you're going to change your mind. So as the name of the video suggests, we're going to talk about Framer.ai. And recently, they just added the AI function. Trust me on this one. It will speed up your process and it will give you the freedom that you always wanted. OK, but without the boring stuff. To be honest, I was using Durable until now. And it is true that it can just speed up the process and it can create you the website, which is fully functional. You can just change a lot. You can change the themes. You've got a lot of these sections and it's easy to use, really easy one, but it doesn't have a lot of options. Today, when you see this AI option from Framer.com, you're going to be blown away. I mean, it is a really, really cool option. But what I like the most about this one is that it leaves a lot of space and it gives you so much options. OK, one time I was just reviewing this one until they've got like this AI function and all of that. And it was just bad. But I think they've just learned a lot. And today I'm going to show you how you can just create your wonder website, whatever you're doing, whatever your drop service and what are you you just want to make this for your own company it is a really good one so what do you want to do well you just want to go and make yourself an account and just start doing it in here you can just write your prompt which is going to be just a start of one trust me later on you can just delete everything but you're just going to have the fundamentals you know it really speeds up the process okay i know that a lot of people are just telling like okay ai is going to take away our jobs but this one not okay this one not you get so much creative freedom so much um, it's just like a support for your creative flow you know sometimes you just gotta go and research a lot and you just gotta go and for example i've used chat gpt in order to just just explain some details some reasons behind the color palette that i've used for example and that is a really good thing trust me ai tools it's just that it's a tool, okay, which we can use. We humans can use that one. And it's never going to be like AI can make better things than us. It's never going to be that way. At the beginning, sure, I was afraid as well. But nowadays, I think only good things, you know. So what I did, I just went on to play a bit with this one. So I wanted to create a website for a guitar lesson course. I don't have this one. I just like using it for example. And right away, you can see that as you come into this dashboard and as it makes you the hero, as it makes you the content on the website, you can in real time change the theme. OK, so you can change the colors as it progresses. So you've got a lot of these you can choose. And if you click more times, it will just give you the variations of those colors. OK, so for example, I like this one. Yeah, it's really good. Let's just check the other ones. You can see that you have a lot of suggestions, a lot of color palettes. This one looks cool as well. I think you would agree. It is a really good one. Let me just click on it once more. This one I don't like. This one is okay-ish, but that one was really cool. I mean, that one was really, really bad. Let's check the other ones. I mean, there's a lot of these and you can just play with us. And as I've told you, you can always find a meaning if you are and search for something really cool. And if you just think that visually it's appealing, visually it's good, you can always find the meaning behind it. Now, let me just go back to that one that I liked. I think it was this one or maybe just have maybe this one. I mean, you've got such big like options menu here that I can't just decide myself. Maybe this one is good. So you do this in real time. And what I like about this one, they just don't give you the lorem ipsum. They just give you some form of a text holder, placeholder, whatever you want to call it. And you can, of course, change this one. You can move this and drag it around. It is a really good thing. You get call to action buttons. You get social information down there at the bottom. You get a lot of things. And trust me, this really saves up the time. OK, really, really saves up your time in order to design something like this, like from scratch. It is a really good thing. And what I really like about this one is that you get the whole package. OK, so you get the whole package, you get desktop version, you get tablet and phone. So let me just show you the responsiveness of this one. I'm just going to publish this one so I can just preview. Click on the publish. We're going to get a link down there. So open this link and right away you can see how it looks like on the desktop right now. If I just move this like this, let me just show you how it looks like. 
when we just switch it to like mobile version so you can see fully responsive okay fully responsive flexbox is really good on this one so just scroll down and see how this looks like okay and the best part about this one is that you get so many options okay you get so many of these options and whatever you want to edit it's on the right hand side when it comes to sizes when it comes to fonts when it comes to styles when it comes to shades and all of that layouts but when it comes to inserting things you have a lot this button insert just check this out if you want to go with some media there's videos you can embed videos from youtube right away from vimeo you can just add your own images or you can just search for some on the stock footage websites that they partner up with then you can just add audio from spotify apple podcasts soundcloud apple music simplecast or just plain mp3 file they really have all of that integrated i have never seen like this powerful thing which has a lot of things inside of it like usually like durable and all of those they just give you like the plain website and they just give you like some forms of content but you can't like input a lot of things there this way if you are for example drop servicing this one if you make the websites for a living for someone if you design those you can just ask as you do a lot of questions from like the customer and then you can just ask for a lot of media that you want to input and you don't want to do it manually all of that can be done inside of this dashboard it is a really really cool thing trust me so in the form section you've got a lot of these like for newsletters for subscriptions you've got type forms you've got everything that is needed in order for an e-commerce store for example a lot of icons a lot of interactive things really i mean this is like search button which is really good i can just move it around so I can just show you how it looks like it will just integrate it in a second and just like that you have a search button which is working fully functional on the whole website how many pages you want now the layout section is also good you can just choose to work with rows columns and grids text is always available the good thing is CMS you just import your CSV Google sheet table right away in the actions menu you just have a prompt again so you click on create with AI and then you right away can go and input another one okay so you can just go and make another page right away so it really saves up the time it cuts down all of the boring stuff that we have to do okay so I'm really enthusiastic about this one it really like just, just gives me the time to do what I really like okay just give me the time to create the things to change the things to move the things to just like just be more specific I like to do like these little nitty-gritty things where I just focus myself on details okay and this allows me to do so because it just does all of the unnecessary work as I've called it I mean yeah the time has come I mean we can use this to our own advantage you know you can work faster you can work like it's just more fun now on the insert section you've got sections you've got a lot of these like for example if you want to make more pages navigation buttons you've got top bars which are really good footers which are also good you can just edit them in whichever way you want just drag and drop okay no coding at all just designing okay front end to the best and of course it'll work with as many pages as you want but of course you will have to pay for it if you look at this you have like one four four oh four page but as i've told you you will have to pay for it and it's not so expensive you know because if you want to use it for free right now you can just go and choose to try it out but if you want to purchase this one for one website for just a landing page it's going to be five dollars per month and the basic and pros go to fifteen dollars per month and twenty five dollars per month and this is something that is really cheap if you ask me if you for example drop service this if you just like go and maintain someone's website you know that you can get a lot more than this per one website these are some really great features i just suggest that you take a look you've got team pricing so if you work in a team it's good really and you have the calculator here so you can just go and make your own plan 
so you don't have to spend a lot more money than it needs to be okay so it's a really good thing you have all of these like information here i don't want to waste your time with it just go and start with this one i mean it's a really good thing one of the best actually on like on the market right now so it will save your time you will have more fun you will just do what you love and don't be afraid of ai tools they're here to help okay whatever people tell you it's gonna take away our jobs it's not okay it's just not it's just there to help us so we can just do fun things okay and enjoy the work so just go and try it out you don't have to invest any money up front just go and see how it works for you do you like it is it free and then just do what you want right so happy designing and i'll catch you